of China. World Lacrosse World Championships live from the University of Limerick here in Limerick, Ireland on WaxSN.com. I'm Grant Del Vecchio, proud to be bringing you today's Platinum Bracket matchup between Team China and Team Kenya. It's day nine here at the World Championships in Limerick, Ireland, and semifinals day for bracket play. This is a bracket, excuse me, a platinum bracket competition between China and Kenya as both teams will battle for a chance to compete for 17th place out of 23 teams here in Ireland. This is a rematch from a pool play contest that took place earlier this week on Monday between China and Kenya. China took a 12-1 victory in their previous matchup. 
This game will face off in just a couple of minutes. Again, we at LAC Sports Network are proud to bring you over 60 games from these world championships. Still to come today are several featured matchups on the LAC Sports Network. Tom Eschen will be on the call in about an hour for a championship bracket matchup between Israel and Japan. And then later at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3 p.m. in Ireland, Tom Eschen will have the call for the game between Germany and Ireland. And then even later in the afternoon, a matchup between the Czech Republic and Puerto Rico. The semifinals of the championship bracket also taking place today. Australia taking on Canada and the U.S. against the Haudenosaunee. Again, this is a platinum bracket matchup. And in the platinum bracket are teams who did not meet the age requirements fully to compete in the championship bracket. And thus, this platinum bracket is providing placement for teams 13 through 23. Both of these teams have had a strong tournament thus far. China has played six games and gone four and two in those games. And both of their losses were close ones, a 13 to 11 loss to the Netherlands and a 10-6 loss to Wales. But in their most recent game yesterday, Team China picked up a 10 to 5 win over Uganda. Meanwhile, for Team Kenya, they've played just three games, unfortunately, having to forfeit two of their games at first because not all of their players were able to get here on time. Team Kenya had some trouble with travel visas, they had a long journey to get here and fourth in their first game. And then Chinese Taipei, unfortunately, had to withdraw from the tournament due to COVID. And thus, Team Kenya missed out on another of their games. However, their last time out, Team Kenya lost 11-4 to to Korea, but played extremely well as their best game of the tournament. And Reagan Ochan quickly wins the faceoff to win Kenya possession. And we are underway here for four three in this platinum bracket matchup. We'll play four quarters, 15 minutes each. It is running clock down to the final 30 seconds of the first three quarters. And we'll be stopped clock for the final two minutes of the fourth quarter. I'd like to thank you for joining us. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening depending on wherever you're tuning in from. This is this Kenyan team's first ever nat international competition, first ever world championship. And they've gotten better with each game. Put up two goals in their first game played against Poland, just one this past Monday in their loss to China, but put up four goals in Tuesday's loss to Korea. The net shot is wide of the net. Trying to work around the crease. Excellent job closing up that right side by Chinese goaltender Haoshun Tsui. And Tsui has been fantastic in this tournament thus far. Aiding 62% of the shots he's faced. China, their first offensive possession will be man up. The shot is turned away. 
deflected by a Kenyan defender. He was a bit shaken up after taking that shot by Hao Jung Gao. So take another look. Hao Jing Gao ripped it from close range. And the Kenyan defender took all of it. It's now being attended to on the field. Thankfully, the player is able to get up on his own strength and walk off the field. Here's to be Benjamin Indivo, 14 Kenya. China will still be man up after the interference call against Reagan Ochan, the 30 second penalty, which will be released shortly. Lost it, regained it. Now Dylan Shue, the path up top, out wide for Damon Shue, and his shot is off target. The Shue brothers have been electrifying in this tournament thus far. There's a pass in front and a goal. Keegan Hughes and Team China strike first. Top five among all athletes here at the World Championships is Keegan Hughes in goal score. And Dylan Shu has the third most point score here in Ireland. 14 goals and now 11 assists so far at the World Championship. He's been one of the premier facilitators on the lacrosse field throughout this week and change at the University of Limerick. Flag is down. Damon Chu has it up top. Powering through defender, sends it out wide. Shot is deflected out of bounds and will stay with China. Team Kenya is going to take a timeout here. Just a few minutes gone by in the first quarter. China with a 1 0 lead. And he's coming Coming out of the timeout. Team China is going to have a man up opportunity after Collins Talam 
14 Kenya. All slash. Team Channel will go in up for a minute coming out of this timeout. What a fantastic tournament it's been here at the University of Limerick thus far. A record-setting world championships this has been with 23 teams in competition. The last time a junior-level world championship was hosted by World Lacrosse came in 2016. And 14 teams were in competition. Just to show you the growth of the sport of lacrosse over just the past six years. And myself and us at Black Sports Network are proud to help amplify these games and provide global coverage across the world. Team Kenya with two teams from Africa along with Uganda competing in this tournament. There's a great look ahead. And Team Kenya will start their attack. Get three, tripped up. And the flag is down. Chun Yong Chen, both for the slash, and so Team Kenya will go man up. The slashing penalty against the Kenyans has been released. It'll be six on five for Team Kenya. With Matai, this came up at one. And Reagan Ochan has three goals and three assists to lead this Kenyan team offensively so far, as that shot is denied by Tsui. Rebound to Kiki by Kenya. Alshon Sui coming off of a 10 save performance in yesterday's win over Uganda. Back even strength. Ochan spinning. Trying to find an opening with team defense by China. Huron Lung pestering Ochan. Jeff Luangi, the second on this Ganyan team with two goals. Now settles it behind the net. Luangi and Ochan have a catch, both scored in Team Kenya's most recent loss to Korea on Tuesday. Ochan turns it over. Scooped up by Jen Bong Chen. Jen sends it ahead. 
intended for Tung Yu Shu. But if the turnover will go back to Kenya. It's an excellent defense move. Then by the Chinese. And then Jen Bong Chen threw it away. Both of these teams competing for a chance. For 17th place here at the tournament. Poland, Wales, and Latvia are three teams that could be potential matchups in a game that will determine the 17th place that the winner will get as the shot bounces wide of the net. Ten minutes gone by in this opening quarter. The one nothing China advantage off the goal from Hegan Keegan Hughes. Feet up top, John is blocked. Did not get a chance to reach Sui and that. And it went all the way across midfield. Here's Damon Chu, full of the team, and puts it in. Two nothing, China. How about that? Team Kenya with possession. They get a good shot attempt, but it's deflected off a Chinese defender all the way across midfield. And Damon Shu is there to collect and race down all the way to the goal for China's second goal of the game. Sixteenth goal of the tournament for Damon Shu. There's a dangerous pass in front of the net. It ends up being a turnover. Good idea from the kick. Excellent feed right in front of the net. And China has another. It's one of the captains, Hao Jing Gao, providing the Chinese with a 3 0 lead. Excellent find from Damon Shu. Head up the whole way down the right alley. How Jing Gao got behind the Kenyan defense. Gao started playing lacrosse as a sophomore in high school in Chengdu, China. 
Seconds of the opening quarter. Team Kenya trying to get on the board. Shot from up top, collected by Tui. And that'll do it for the first quarter of action in this platinum bracket matchup between China and Kenya. It's Team China holding a 3-0 advantage after the first 15 minutes of play. Second quarter action on the way in just a few moments. At the end of the first quarter, China leads the game 3-0. We'll have a three minutes break. Opening face off of Bong secures it for China. This is going to head to Le Yang. Dylan Shu, second most points at these world championships. Start the offensive attack for China, feeds it right in front, and that shot is denied by Kenya. Excellent opportunity for Team China, turned away by the Kenyans. Come on, come on. 
I'd like to make a correction on a mistake I made earlier in this broadcast. The first goal of this game was not scored by Keegan Hughes for China. It was actually La Yang as Dylan Shu get three in front of the net and adds another. First goal of the game for Dylan Chu, his 15th of the tournament. And it gives China a 4-0 lead. Yeah, guys, be the game, scored by number one, Dylan Chu. That goal is at 1335 in the second quarter. Two at 1335 to try and score the game. Four to nothing. So China's first goal was scored by Le Yang, second by Damon Shu, the third by Hao Jin Gao, and now Dylan Shu just got on the board as well. And that is how China has a 4-0 lead in the early goings of this second quarter. Matt Wong taking face-offs for Team China, came into this game. 14 of 35 for the tournament. 40% clip. He's been winning face off. And Team China is going to take their first timeout of the game thus far. They've just extended their lead to 4 nothing in this Platinum Bracket Contest. Both of these teams battling for the opportunity to play in the 17th place game. They've got three potential teams that they could play, the winner of this game, between Wales, Poland, and Latvia. If you take another look at this most recent goal from Dylan Shu, skirting defenders and finding the back of the net. The Shu brothers, along with Keegan Hughes, for Team China have been stellar throughout this entire tournament. All three are in the top 10 of points scored here at these World Championships with over 400 athletes in competition. And the Shoe Brothers, along with Hughes, once again, top 10 in points scored throughout this week and change. And Dylan Shoe who just scored his 15th goal of the tournament, actually has the second most points among all athletes here at the University of Limit. The only tra trails, Christian Melorocco from the Netherlands, who has 31 points, going to has 26 total points in this tournament. 15 goals and 11 assists. Dylan Shu going to be a sophomore at Amherst College, where he plays the cross in the United States. He's got four hat tricks so far in the tournament. With his high school lacrosse at Georgetown Prep. Ai Hung Yen now escapes the defender, feeds in front, and Le Yang has another. Second goal of the game for Yang gives China a 5 0 advantage. Yang Tai Hao. 
that's Lee from town. At 11 oh, seconds. Time now leads the game. Five to nothing. Lo Young is a senior studying computer science at the University of Michigan. Had four goals throughout the tournament coming into this game and has two already in the first half. Davis Wafula lost it, trying to cross midfield. Excellent back check by Dylan Shu, who can do it all on the cross field. Shu. Turns it over. Wafula takes it away from Shu. Moments after Shu took it away from Wafula. And Kenya turns it back over. Once again, these two teams met in pool play earlier in this week. And China that pulled out a 12-1 victory, but China turns it over. And Vinius Machuki makes them pay. The range snipe from Machuki, who's the youngest player at these world championships. What a moment for Machuki to get Kenya on the board. And the COVID disruption of this tournament turns out to be a blessing in disguise for Machuki, who would not have been able to compete at the World Championships at this tournament been played on time in 2020. First goal ever in international play for Vinius Machuki. And it gets Kenya on the board in the second quarter here in this platinum bracket matchup. Dylan Shu working on Davis Wafula. The flag came down. Wafula stopped defending. And Dylan Shu adds another goal to his fantastic resume here at the World Championships. Kenya is going to take a timeout trailing by five.
Just over six minutes to play in this first half. 6-1 lead for China. China leads in overall shots 10-7 and shots on goal 8-4. And Atsali in net for Team Kenya has made two saves thus far. Haoshan Tsui for China has made three as Meng Han Liu and Reagan Ochan battle for the faceoff. And Liu secures the ground ball and possession for the Chinese. Meng Yu Xu trying to keep it on side. And Daniel Niabuti, one possession for Kenya. Reagan Ochan controls it. Ochan, one of the leaders of this Kenyan team, sends a bouncer towards net, and three was all over it. Ochan, fantastic effort to keep it in the Kenyan attacking half. Ochan fires, and it's saved by three. Alshon Tsui has been fantastic in that 14 shot. From Beijing, China, originally attended Mullen High School in Denver, Colorado, and played college lacrosse at UC San Diego. And played in the 2018 Men's World Championship in Israel. And last year at the in the college ranks in the men's collegiate lacrosse association with a second team all southwestern lacrosse conference selection and a one-time goalie of the week recipient made 109 saves in his career at UC San Diego. Great speed from Wafula to clear it for Kenya. Cross field speed. Ochan. The pass in front. Shot bounces over the top of the cage. What a great find from Ochan. Remington Okumu couldn't put it away. Here's Jeff Mwangi in close. Denied by Tsui. Another excellent save by the Chinese goaltender. Flags are down. This will be a penalty coming against the Chinese. Another feed in front stopped by Tsui. My goodness. Back to back to back. Fantastic saves by Hao Shun Tsui.
and he keeps this Kenyan team deadlocked at one goal score. And that was especially a key save considering Chung Yong Chen for China had just been given a one minute penalty for slashing. Kenya was going to go man up. And Reagan Ochan called for his second interference of this game. It'll be a 30 second penalty. Several minutes remaining in the first half as we take a look back at some of the highlights thus far. Excellent back check there by Dylan Shue. Here's one of the highlights of the game. Vinius Machuki from long distance. Youngest player competing in these world championships. Got Kenya on the board. And then do it all, Dylan Shue. Drew the flag and snuck it past Atsali. And now it's Haoshan Tsui's highlight reel in net. Making stop after stop to maintain this Chinese lead. We have seen a few players trip up on this field. Rain is coming down. Field is a bit slick, but players doing well to hold up thus far. Chu up top for Yang. Couldn't handle the pass. Was scooped up by Davis Wafula, who can really run. Wafula, the feed right in front of the net. Unsure what the stoppage in play was for, but that pass from Rofula to the crease couldn't be handled by his teammate. to Reagan Ochan. Now to Wafula. Wafula gets his hand free, fires, and it's stopped by Hao Shun Tui. China making time with their fear. The second remaining in this first half. Flag comes down as Lo Yang was hit out of bounds. 30-second penalty being assessed against Kenya.
And that will do it for first half of action here in this platinum bracket matchup between China and Kenya. It's China with a six to one lead after the opening 30 minutes. You're watching the 2022 World Lacrosse Men's U21 World Championships live from the University of Limerick in Limerick, Ireland on laxsn.com. Second half action coming up after a short break.
Welcome back to LAC Sports Network's coverage of the 2022 World Lacrosse Men's U21 World Championships here live from the University of Limerick in Limerick, Ireland. Just a few minutes away from second half action in this platinum bracket contest between China and Kenya. And now is as good a time as ever to talk about the growth of the sport of lacrosse on a global scale. Once again, this is a record-setting world championship with 23 teams in competition, including eight teams making their debut in a junior-level men's championship. Those eight teams are Jamaica, Kenya, Latvia, Netherlands, Poland, Puerto Rico, Sweden, and we are underway here in the third quarter. China is man up after a push with Paul against Hillary Sindani, and Dylan Shoes shot is wide of the cage. David Kukula turns the burners on. Runs past everyone, gets to the net, and lost it right as he was loading up to shoot. China was off sides, specifically Zhao Yi Zhang. And so now Team Kenya will go man up themselves. Kenya trailing by five. Their lone goal this game scored by Vinius Pachuki is that shot is saved by three. And three secures it. Eighth save of the game for Haoshan Kui. Reagan Ochan is going to be called for interference again. A second penalty against Kenya. China working around, out Jing Gao, up top for Dylan Shu, back and forth. He takes the pass, now goes with it. Gao couldn't handle it. And now a penalty is going to be assessed against Hillary Sindani of Kenya. There's a shot from deep by Zhao Yi Zhang, just wide. Go, go, go. 
Dylan Shue gets his hands free and scores. It's a hat trick for Dylan Chu, his fifth hat trick in seven games played here at the World Championships. It doesn't get much better than that, folks. China an eight to one lead. Kenya is down and injured. We'll update you as we know more. We'll take a look back at some highlights from the early goings of this third quarter. China has added two more goals in this third quarter after they went into halftime leading six to one. With his fifth hat trick of the tournament, Dylan Shu now leads Team China throughout this tournament with 17 goals. He also leads the team in assists as well with 11. Number one in white has been electrifying throughout the entirety of this tournament. As Reagan Ochan, one of the leaders of this Kenyan national team and most productive offensive players was the injured player. Thankfully, he's able to walk off on his own strength and appears to be okay. Ochan is a key member of this Kenyan team. They'll hope he returns as they try to crawl back from this seven goal deficit. Cromwell Opilo who is six for 19 taking face-offs throughout this tournament. So Matt Wong, an excellent face-off win, flipped it back to his winger, La Yang, who has two goals in this game. Dylan Chu, surveying. Oh, 
Flag is down. Shu and Wong go give and go. Shu on the doorstep. How about another? Fourth goal of the game for Dylan Shu. His 18th overall of the tournament. And with 29 points in these world championships, Dylan Shu remains in second place among all players competing here at the University of Limerick. A remarkable feat for the rising sophomore from Maryland who's attending Amherst College in the United States. Timeout has been called on the field. Let's take a look back at some of these second half highlights thus far. China has had a very strong tournament here at these World Championships. They opened up with a 10-1 victory over Chinese Taipei. And then in their second game of the tournament, they were in a thriller against Poland that was back and forth the entire way. China was able to pull out victory over Poland. Game three was a 10-6 loss to Wales. The fourth game earlier on Monday of this week was a 12-1 victory over Kenya. And then they lost 13 to 11 to Netherlands and beat Uganda 10 to five yesterday. Four and two through their first six games of the tournament, and their losses were close ones. 13 to 11 loss to Netherlands, who, and the Netherlands currently lead Korea with a chance to secure that 13th place, which is the highest place that those in the platinum bracket could achieve. Davis Wafula now taking the face off for Kenya. Matt Wong quickly wins it back and ditches to Jing Chao Wong. Kenya is a man down after Bromwell Opilo was called for a one minute slashing penalty. Six five advantage offensively for China. Dylan Shu head up. Goes up top for La Yang. And Yang has himself a hat trick. Yang had four goals throughout the tournament coming into this one. And he has three today alone. First hat trick of the tournament for Le Yang. China on top, 10 to one. Halfway through this third quarter, 
of this Platinum Bracket matchup from China and Kenya. The winner of this game does not know who they are facing yet, but they do know that it will be for a 17th place finish at this tournament out of 23 teams. As Bromwell Opilo nearly goes coast to coast. Did not get a full shot on it. Ball came flying out of his kick. And China will now start their clear. clear for Team China. And as this game and this tournament has shown, the process of sport has been rapidly gaining popularity on a global scale. In the last decade alone, 34 new lacrosse member federations have emerged and that has brought the number of countries with organized lacrosse to 77 and counting back in 2002 there were just 12 countries with organized lacrosse and now there are 77 and earlier this year, the Africa Association of Lacrosse was formed. It became World Lacrosse's fourth continental federation as Kenya and Uganda are competing here at the World Championships. And the creation of the African Association of Lacrosse gave the sport representation in each of the five continental regions that are recognized by the International Olympic Committee that being those being Africa, America, Asia, Europe, and Oceania. And that's important as lacrosse continues its push to be included in the Olympics, specifically in Los Angeles, upcoming in 2028. organization has been mobilizing the global across community to try and help reinforce the sports Olympic vision and drive for inclusion in Los Angeles the 2028 upcoming Olympics. And with 23 teams competing here at the World Championships, it's an excellent example of the global scale of the game. And myself, Grant Del Vecchio, and us at Max Sports Network are humbled and privileged to be able to be providing live coverage across the globe of these games. We thank you for tuning in wherever you may be. It's Kenya with an excellent chance. But Daniel Mwangi's shot was just wide of the cage. Final two minutes of this third quarter. Here on field three at the University of Limerick. Romwell Opilo fires. And that shot is saved by Haoshan Tui. And Tui having himself another excellent performance ninth save of the game for Tui Kenya forces the turnover they've got number shot denied by Tui make it double digit save for the Chinese goaltender. Go, 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 
Kenya has had some good opportunities in both the first half and now just then. Getting free in front of the net. Alshon Sui has shut the door nearly every time. Next one goal Kenya has, Sui was completely out of position and not in front of the net. Racing back and Vinius Machuki put a shot on net from long distance and found Kwan. As the rain continues to come down here in the brick. Final seconds of this third quarter ticking down. Chu puts it on net, and that'll do it for the third quarter. China's lead rose to nine. They hold a 10 to one advantage heading into the fourth quarter. Stick with us. We'll be right back. Fourth quarter action on the way here at the University of Limerick. China holding a 10 to 1 lead over Kenya in this platinum bracket matchup. The winner of this one will move on to contend for 17th place here at the World Championships. Just getting underway over on Fuel 2. Tune in to live on the LAC Sports Network is a championship bracket matchup between Israel and Japan with Tom Eschen on the call for that one. It's a loaded day nine and semifinals day here at the World Championships. Nine or eight games rather taking place today alone. Davis Wafula for Kenya is down and in some pain.
We saw Reagan Ochan go down earlier with an injury for Kenya. And now Davis Wafula is the injured player for Kenya. Wafula has two shots on goal so far in this game, as well as two ground balls. Helped off the field by his teammate, Reagan Ochan. Ochan, one of the leaders of this Kenyan team, as you just saw there in the most productive offensive player for them at these world championships with three goals and three assists. As play will resume, we send our best wishes to Davis Wapula. Hoping he's all right. And Bromwell Opilo secures possession for Kenya. It is slick out there on the field. The rain is coming down here in Limerick. There were some lightning delays earlier in the week. Thankfully, no lightning thus far. Just rain. Flashing penalty coming against Meng Han Liu for Team China. And so Kenya will go man up and have a six time advantage for a minute. Ochan trying to find William Ware on the crease. But it's a turnover. Sweet, taking his time will be clear. This is to Jen Bong Chen. The team's back at even strength. That's been job by Tsui. Holding on to the ball to let the time tick down on that penalty. Now China will set up their offense for the first time in this fourth quarter. Ten to one lead for China. Five different goal scorers for the Chinese. 
feet on the crease. Denied by Kenya. Excellent save by Abraham Okoff. Reagan Ocha of Team Kenya has just been called for a slash. So it will be a 6 5 advantage for China. As that shot is again saved by Oka. Excellent save by the Kenyan goaltender. Kenya printing ahead, down a man. Fantastic interception. That was Genbong Chen who halted the Kenyan transition work. Team China takes a timeout. Ten minutes to go in this fourth quarter. It's a 10-1 lead for Team China. They've been led thus far by Dylan Xu, who has four goals and an assist. Le Yang has a hat trick of his own with three goals. Hai Hong Yun has two assists for China. Matt Wong has a goal and an assist. Damon Shu, older brother of Dylan Shu, has a goal and an assist as well. And Hao Jing Gao, one of the captains of Team China, has his first goal of the tournament. Matt Wong's goal was also his first goal of these World Championships. Both teams have 13 shots on goal in this game. The difference on the defensive end for China has been the play of goaltender Haoshun Sui. Sui has 12 saves in this contest. Two behind. The most he's saved in this tournament of 14 and that also came against Kenya earlier this week in China's 12 to 1 victory. Ten minutes to me. So Sui has been the kryptonite for this Kenyan team saving nearly everything they've shot his way. Chen down the right alley. Excellent individual defense by Hillary Sundani. Donnie continues to give Chen nowhere to go. Donnie 
Amuelo Pilo fighting through traffic. Kenya was offside. They turn it over. And a flag has just been thrown. Opilo kicking the ball towards his teammates. And then Vinius Machuki called for the delay of game. was a man down. Team for an even strength for the moment, but the referee cleared it up. Ochan to Mwangi turns, fires, saved by Tsui. Goodness, Al Shung Sui has been a brick wall today. Chance for Kenya. William Ware couldn't fully control it. And Bong Chen carries it towards midfield. Battle for possession won by China. Now Chen Sui to restart the clear. Sends to Jen Bong Chen. Chen, one of the premier defenders on this Chinese national team. Yes, he just roll it across midfield, and Reagan Ochan picks it up for Kenya. Ochan looking for teammates, and his pass is deflected and secured by Hao Shun Sui. And then Ochan levels Sui right on the edge of the crease. So you take another look. Ochan getting physical, trying to win possession. And Sui did not appreciate that hit. Penalty being assessed to Ochan for interference for that hit on Sui. Now, anytime the goalie is in the crease, they're unable to make contact with the goalie. Sui was right on the edge of the crease, 
had his stick all the way out, which enticed Ochan to lay that hit. Had Swee been fully outside of the crease, that hit by Ochan, if delivered in a technically sound way, would have been clean. Now China goes man up after Hillary Sindani. Flagged for a cross check. Yin Chung Wu trying to fire a shot, but And now Daniel Mwangi up the hat. Han Liu sends it ahead. His pass is intercepted. Cross checking penalty assessed against Kenya. down the sideline and Kenya wins possession. Ochan defended by Bin Wen Tong. Finds his teammate right on the crease and Kenya adds another. Again, it's Vinius Michuki, the youngest player at these world championships and Machuki has his first ever multi goal game. What a moment for Vinius Machuki. Had zero goals throughout the tournament coming into this game, and now has both of Kenya's tallies. Has to feel great. Again, the youngest player competing at these World Championships. Meng Han Liu is called for illegal procedure and Ochan came racing down the field from midfield and nearly added another for Kenya. Ochan trying to find Were right on the crease. Were couldn't handle the pass. And now Eliud Oniangi is shot goes into the stick of Tsui. Dangerous clearing pass taken away by Kenya. They've got numbers. Oh, 
Final seconds of this contest. Megan Ochan runs into two defenders. Twee secures it in the crease. And that will do it. Team China comes away with a 10 to 2 victory over Kenya for their fifth win in this tournament overall. China was led by Dylan Shu, who put up four goals and an assist for his fifth hat trick of the tournament. We at Lack Sports Network are proud to bring you over 60 live games from this tournament live on Lack Sports Network and our website, laxsn.com. For a complete schedule of games each day, follow us on social media at Lack Sports Net. Thank you again for watching wherever you may be and have a wonderful day, afternoon, or evening. Team China pulls away with a 10-2 win.